All right, so today I'm working on this 2012 Jeep Wrangler. It has code uh, C121C, which is uh, torque request signal denied. And it is set when the anti-lock brake module indicates if engine management relevant for automatic yaw control, traction control system control can be accomplished. That didn't really make sense to me when I read it, but that is the condition that it will set in. Um, so here's a little diagnostic uh, steps how to do it. Uh, silly me, I cleared the code in the middle of diagnosing it. So this is irrelevant because it must be active for this to work. But if you go down here to two, I can do this. It says with engine started with scan tool, read the allow ESP torque request status bits. Was the allow ESP torque requested showing not set. So over here to my scanner, I'm in the uh, ABS module and allow ESP torque request, it is set. So, wow, this is kind of like those, those high school math questions. Was the allow ESP torque request showing not set? So pay attention to that not. It is set, as you see. So, the question is, is it not set? So the answer is no, because it actually is a set. Uh, so replace the analog brake module in accordance with the service information. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I'm going to order the brake module for this uh, Jeep Wrangler, and hopefully that fixes the problem, which it should. Okay, so right away, here are the instructions on how to remove the uh, ABS module. And step one doesn't make sense, remove the muscle cylinder, but then step two says install proper rod to uh, keep pressure on the brake system. So how are you going to have pressure on the brake system with no muscle cylinder hooked up? So let's just act like step one isn't there, um, install proper rod. Done. Step three, remove negative battery cable from the battery. Pull up on the ABS harness connector, release, and remove connector. Move brake lines. I don't think I want to move the brake lines because then I'm gonna have to bleed the system. Uh, maybe that's why putting the rod on the pedal uh, was supposed to stop that. But I'm pretty sure I can remove it without undoing the brake lines if I just take the module off of the assembly. So let's uh, fix that out. Remove mounting nuts. Okay, let's see if I can do this without undo undoing the brake lines. Because really, the module is just the black block on the back side. This is all the module is. And there's not actually fluid going through here. So I just need to be able to free it up to get these four bolts off the corners. Um, okay. Now I should be able to get to the four bolts and just pop this module off and replace it without actually having to undo the lines. That'd save a lot of trouble. All right, I've already got the bottom two screws out, so now I just gotta get these top two and the module should come out. Okay. Let's see here. Right, there's like a plug, and this is the new module. There's like a plug in the center that's kind of, I guess that's what's holding it on there. So I'm gonna get it off. And yeah, so there's no fluid actually coming through here, so you don't have to undo the lines. I guess I didn't have to put that right on the pedal. All you really gotta do is make enough room to pop off the module here. Okay, so to kind of clean up the surfaces, I actually just rinsed it off with WD-40. Um, usually you can replace the o-rings on these, but they don't seem serviceable. I tried popping them off. Well, first of all, the new module didn't come with new ones. And it doesn't really look like they're removable. They might be, but 
they I mean they look they look good honestly so I just I rinse it off with W40 to get the debris off but also not to dry out the the seals so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the new module gonna line up that plug right there in the center get that lined up just press it on there all right, so now it's just reverse order. I want to put the four screws back in. Uh, there's one set on the side holding it in there, and there's like two grommets down there that, oh, uh, that little little nah, nipple thingy he's got to click into or press into. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this. All right, so I got the module back in there. Just got to plug it up. Put this big connector on there. Slide it down to lock it. Locked in place. It was actually very easy. Just the one bolt and basically pull the whole thing up, and then you can get to the four little bolts. T20 Torx, by the way, and you can change out the module. So now we're gonna see if it has to be programmed or not. All right. So after replacing the module, don't freak out if you get the ABS light flashing, uh, traction light on the bottom there. You're gonna need to get the module flashed. Uh, so I've got two codes here, vehicle configuration mismatch and uh, ESP system sensors calibration. So basically you gotta, after this point, you can send this to a dealer to get a reflash, which should be about a hundred dollars. Uh, but typically the labor on the module, I've heard it's anywhere from like five to eight hundred. So you can save big time on that. Do the work yourself and just have a dealer uh, reflash the module and you should be good to go. So right, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.